Here, in the frozen wastes of Upper Sibunia, toil a brave band of peace officers from that swell organization called MUSH, which stands for uh, Mangy uh, Unwanted Shabby Heroes. Hey, they brought the supplies. We're saved. Oh, boy, we're saved. <laughs> oh, welcome back, sirs. Oh, that do do do. Who says golf isn't exciting? Hi, uh, uh, Colonel. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm glad you're back. Now, did you get your stuff for the party? Yeah. <laughs> the gang is setting it up right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Colonel Flake, sir. This just came in over the wireless. Oh, my goodness. So now, when are you going to buy some new glasses? <laughs> Either glasses or a seeing eye cat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is terrible. What's so terrible, sir? I got a message here from General Peeble, and he has ordered me to fly back to his headquarters for a staff conference. Mm -hmm. That means you'll miss the party, sir. Hey, can I have your blubber cookies, please, huh? <laughs> you want to uh, cool the cutie sonar? <laughs> yeah, you know, we've got a problem. With the colonel gone, do you realize who's going to be in charge, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's the commanding officer now? I am the top DOG. DOG dog, I am the top dog. And I plan to initiate a few little bitty changes here at Mush. Big changes. First, we're going to start with discipline. Discipline. From now on, we are going to strictly buy the book. B O K O K, book. Uh, do you read me? Hmm, I mean strictly by the book. Hmm. Ow! <laughs> uh, I think I'll wait till it comes out in paperback. <laughs> Here is your daily duty roster, and I want you to read it, so now read it. <laughs> Scrubbing floors, bullseye and trooper. Slaving over a hot stove, bullseye and trooper. Mowing the snow, bullseye and trooper. Holy lawnmower, he's hit us with everything but gift wrapping the garbage. <laughs> gift wrapping the garbage, bullseye and trooper. Uh, uh, you got the wrong guys, Major, you see. <laughs> oh, we, we both have tummy aches today. Whoa, whoa, pain. It is you who have the wrong guy, and we will see about this. Do you hear me? We will see about this tummy ache. <laughs> All right, listen up and listen tight, you chow hounds. Move it, move it, move it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the sooner you finish, yeah, the sooner we can start the party. <laughs> boom, boom. They're coming. They're coming. <laughs> Captain Colips and Major Sideburns are on their way. Hey, good. Good, sir? Yes, Sonar, we've got an 86-course meal planned for them that'll take them all night to eat. <laughs> <laughs> While they're in there eating, <laughs> we'll be in there partying. <laughs> Yes, sir! This is your commanding officer speaking. I mean, I am the local biggie, and I want some service around here. And I mean service, service, service. <laughs> uh, Monsieur, uh, uh, parlez-vous, uh, madame? Uh -huh. What took you so long? <laughs> Oh, this is excellent, Bullseye. This is truly and wonderfully excellent. My compliments to the Google Car. You can't go. Uh, uh, sorry, Major. I uh, I can't understand a, a word you're mumbling. <laughs> the Major says wobble Look at them crazy kids, just bubbling over with enthusiasm for our cooking. Oh. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sonar, uh, why don't you open the skylight? I think our guests wish to leave. <laughs> uh, would you like some uh, stew to go? <laughs> Gert, arrest them. Company, halt! 
I said halt. Company stop. G company halt. Uh, oh, come on and halt. <laughs> that sideburns is a natural leader, isn't he? <laughs> Ready. <clears throat> oh, this is good. Aim. Oh, here it comes. <clears throat> well, I guess this is it. Nice knowing you, old buddy. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh hang in there, trooper. Uh-huh. Now that's what I call fine shooting. Now you just get back against that wall there. Ready? Aim. Well, hey there. Am I in time for the party? Huh? Fire! Colonel, Colonel uh, Flake. <laughs> well, said Burns, I have some important job for you. Uh, uh, yes, sir? First, we got slaving over a hot stove. You're going to like that. And then next, uh, maybe more in the snow. How do you like that job? And uh, Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, don't forget that gift wrap in the garbage, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thanks for reminding me. Gift wrapping the garbage. Now, where is the party? <laughs> right over here, my colonel. Aww. Well, now what have you got to say for yourself? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, Trooper, uh, if I've said it once, I've said it twice. Uh, you don't ring my chimes, yeah? <laughs> well, maybe not, but I'm sure gonna light your fire. Look at here, I drew it myself. Now, don't you think it kind of warms up the old cabin here? Aww. Are you kidding? We couldn't warm up this place if we burned it down. <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom. Boy, have I got some great news, sir. Uh, uh, don't tell me. They are gonna burn the place down, huh? You right, right? Mm -hmm. Boom. No, sir. There's a camp show coming here direct from Hollywood. A uh, camp show? You mean you mean one of them outfits that sends performers out to entertain our troops? Mm -hmm. That's right. And Bob Soap himself will be here tonight with his whole show, including, and now get this. Holy leader crunch. It's Darlena Metric. Darlena Metric? Hey, she's play dog of the year. Boy, this is gonna be my night to howl. <laughs> Yeah? Well, the line forms behind me, Trooper Boy. I, uh, I saw her first, you know, hmm? Is the camera ready, Sonar? Boom. Yes, sir. You'll see the picture develop before your very eyes. Great, because long after Darlena Metric is gone, I'll have the picture of her in my arms and old Bullseye will have nothing. Boom. There's only one thing I don't understand. How are you going to get her in your arms? Oh, that's easy. Look, she'll walk down this path to the stage, and when she gets to here, I'll start this mechanical mousy. Now, Darlena will see the mousy, jump up screaming, and I'll catch her in my arms, and you'll take the old picture. Ooh, that's a great plan. Are you sure the mouse will work? Don't worry about the mousy. Let's test the camera. Ooh, okay, you stand right there. Ooh, now watch the birdie. I'm watching, I'm watching. Mm, say, apple strudel. And for this, I put on my tuxedo. Young <laughs> <laughs> Bin Yemeni, such excitement going on. Oh. It's ridiculous. All this for that Darlene metric. <laughs> yeah, what has she got that I ain't got more of? <laughs> well, I know one man who doesn't care about her. Am I right, Hank? Hmm. Hank! All uh, right, darling, uh, darling. Oh, I mean, uh, go lips. Uh, I had me mean, uh, Bullseye. Uh, up here. What are you doing? Uh, this will be uh, Darlene's uh, dressing room, uh, huh? right, huh? Yeah, right. So why don't you put a star on the door instead of a snowball on the roof? Huh? You see, uh, this is the key to my whole plan. Uh, see, Darlena will come back here after the show, and I'll bring her a bouquet of frozen flowers. Now, she'll open the door and ask me to step inside. And as I walk in, I'll pull this rope. <laughs> and flump. Oh, double flump. And down comes the giant snowball. And it'll be three days before they can dig us out. You get the picture? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get the picture, all right. And you know what they say. 
One picture is worth a thousand snowballs. Wow. Well, all right, you mushers. Now, calm down now. Calm down. Now, hold it down because the camp show helicopter has just landed and they're all going to be here in just one minute. Mm hmm. Boom, boom. Trooper, I hear it coming. Start the mouse. Roger, double O, yo. What's wrong? The darn mousey is motor froze. Well, warm it up. She'll be here any second. Darlena metric. I got it, Trooper. I got the picture. Trooper, where are you? Holy wow. That Darlena sure packs a wallop. Now, folks, here is the man that brought this great camp show to us. So let's have a great big mush welcome for Bob Soap. Hi, this is Bob, whatever happened to Nanook Soap. And I don't want to say it's cold here, but I just stepped out of the helicopter and I froze my fleas off. <laughs> but seriously, folks, I got to tell you. Uh, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, where's, where's Darlena, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, enough of that bad nonsense. We want Darlena. But enough with the great jokes. I mean, right now, right here, I want you to meet the little lady you've all been waiting for, a real canine cutie. This month's Play Dog Bowled Out, Darlene Metric, right here. Hello, sweethearts. Oh, Carly, I like this one. With a big overbite. <laughs> yeah, did I use say something funny? <laughs> Hello, you're looking for the other half of your recording. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, Dalina, it is me, uh, Bullseye. <laughs> I have come to serenade you, huh? <laughs> uh, Entschuldigen Sie mich, bitte. Oh, danke schön. <laughs> the dirty dog. Uh, Dalina, my lovely, it looks like uh, we have been uh, geschnowed in, huh? Oh, uh, well... I guess we have got to make the best of it. Oh, you know, I've been doing these shows for over 25 years now, all over the world, and I could tell you more dull stories about more dull people and more dull places. It all started when I was a little girl, but then again, that's not very interesting, is it? But so what? I'm sure you'd like to hear it. Am I right or am I wrong, huh? Well, some guys have all the luck. What is it? I'm busy here. Can't you see that? Sorry, General Upheaval, but uh, Captain Tad is here. No, all right. Well, send him in. Send him in. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, and double ha ha. Captain Putty Tad reporting for duty, sir. Oh, my. Look at that. Well, you are my kind of soldier, soldier. And that is why I am sending you on a very special super secret mission. Hmm. <laughs> You are to go to Mush, our northern outpost. I have been hearing about all sorts of shenanigans that are going on out there, and I want you to straighten things out. Now you get cracking. Yes, sir. Geronimo. Look at them cold lips. Oh, look at them play. They are playing, playing, playing. And they're a disgrace. A disgrace to the mush name. If General Upheaval only knew what was going on here. He does, honey. He does? He does? Oh, good, good, good. I sent him a secret message last night. These clowns are in for some big trouble, honey. <laughs> cold lips, you are a genius. Do you hear me? A genius. <laughs> And double ah uh, ah uh, chop oh ah. Uh. Hey fella, how am I gonna fish with all of this racket that's going on in here? Hmm? Uh, Colonel Flake, I'm Captain Putty Tat here on a secret mission for General Upheaval. Well, good gumdrops—a secret mission for General Upheaval. These are my orders, sir. I am to have your fullest cooperation. Uh, you two, clowns over there, you take my bags. Uh, what bags? Uh -huh. Same here.
Peter. Uh, you mind telling me just what you two think you're doing? Uh, I, I think it's called chewing. <laughs> you know, open, close, open, close, jump, jump. Enough, just double enough. You Mounties are all too relaxed. You must always be on guard. Now, what if the fort was attacked by hoodlums right now? I mean, how would you defend yourselves? Oh, we can start by feeding them our food. <laughs> then they'll be too sick to do anything else. Wah. Silence, just be quiet. Now, we must always be alert. You never know when sneakies come up on you. So now, I thought I told you not to hiccup at the table. <laughs> I'm not, sir. Uh, excuse me. Come in, General Upheaval. What is going on there, Captain Chatham? Uh, he's communicating with the general <laughs> through his swagger stick. Do you believe it? <laughs> you mean Captain Tat is tattling? <laughs> We'd better stop him before he gets carried away. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Sonar, you're the radio expert. Uh, uh, would it be possible to uh, uh, whisper? Oh, I'm glad to see that we have at least two mushers who can follow orders. Oh, thank, Why, thank you, you Captain thank you, Tat. Captain oh, I'm so glad you noticed. <laughs> Yes, General Upheaval. Captain Tat, I want you to forget about spying on Bullseye and Trooper. They're the swellest, bravest guys this side of the glacier. And besides, they're cute. <laughs> but, General, you said so... Forget what I said, Tat. Intelligent reports say that sideburns and cold lips are the real goof-offs. So I want you to work them hard and see if they can take it. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, Captain Tat. Oh, Captain Tat, may I say? Oh, yes. It has been a pleasure to take orders from such... Ten hot. <laughs> you goof-offs want orders? You're going to get orders. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain Tat, but uh, <clears throat> why, uh, why are we washing the soap? <laughs> well, because when grubby mushers wash their grubby hands, the soap gets filthy. Now, how can anyone get clean with filthy soap, hmm, I ask you? Well, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> This beast really necessary, Captain Tat? In the military, we must keep our vehicles in tippity-top shape. <laughs> hey, now for some real fun. <laughs> uh, Captain Tat, can you hear me? Yes, General. Uh, you've done a splendid job, Tat. Now report back to me on the double. Say the new secret code phrase, Hello, idiot. And then kiss me on the cheek. You understand? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Ha, 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 and double ha, ha, ya, choppity chop, wah, wah. Hello, idiot. <laughs> Tat, what in the blue places do you think you're doing? But, General, you said... You, you are a genuine wacko, Tat. I'm sending you to the funny farm on the devil. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one way to skin a tap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you now, so don't hide from me. Come on, you little devil. <laughs> oh, my goodness, he did it again. It's so much more fun, though, than playing with that silly rubber duck. A flake here. Uh, and make it short, will you? I'm in conference. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. It's it's you, General Upheaval. I'm just alerting you, Flake. The Congressional Budget Committee is coming to inspect your post, and soon... The Budget Committee? Well, now, what on earth do they want? They feel that we have been spending too much money, and they're out to cut, cut the budget. That's it, General. Your three minutes are up. Off the phone, wastrel. You're costing the taxpayers money. Hello. Hello. I think I've been cut off here. Hey, uh, if I know that budget committee, uh, I will be in the doghouse for sure, yeah. Yeah, they'll strip us down to the bare bones. What are we going to do? Uh, 
Uh, perhaps a little display of poverty would do the trick. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you hear what's going down, Hanky? Those sneaks are going to play poor. Well, they'll never get away with it. Never will, cold lips. Not well. I am the... Oh, okay. Get away. Get away. There's something in here. Okay, okay. Cut it out. Cut it out. Ooh, timber! <laughs> <laughs> I always knew he had the bug, but uh, uh, who, uh, who figured on termites, huh? <laughs> on, uh, on behalf of the uh, commanding officer, uh, uh, yeah, welcome to Mush. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Those uniforms, are they, um, uh, regulation? What do you call them? Uh, I call mine Chuck. Uh, he, he calls his name. <laughs> and here comes the band. Uh, nothing quite like a parade, huh, troop? <laughs> okay, I'll bring up the staff car. <laughs> this is our transportation? Nothing but the best for our guests, ma'am. All aboard, you gyrenes. Wow. Yeah, uh, buckle your seatbelts. <laughs> We're off. Wow, are we? Wow. Uh, we mushers are always pleased to welcome the budget committee. How are you, folk? Um, yes, Colonel, but um, uh, don't you think you're uh, overdoing the conservation bit? Hmm. You know, we never know around here when we're going to run out of hot water. Uh, but the tea should be just about ready. Oh, here come the chow. Hmm, nom and nom. Uh huh. I uh, <laughs> hope you folks like beans, huh? <laughs> yes, beans will be fine. Uh, good. Uh, how many, huh? How many? Oh, you poor boys. Uh, score one for our side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you dog faces. Let's show our guests some real fine target practice. Ready on the right? Ready on the left, ready on the fire in line. Fire! Bang to the boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang, boom. Bang, shoot, 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 gun, gun. Hey, uh, <laughs> nice shooting, guys. Uh, thrifty bunch, aren't they, huh? <laughs> boom, boom. I didn't mean to do it, honest. The bullet, Sonar. You fired the bullet. Oh, oh, gee, uh, shame on you, Sonar. <laughs> Take him away, huh? Hmm? I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. It's been so long. How am I doing? Great performance. On behalf of the Mush Movie Academy, may I present you with this? <laughs> now, cool it, Laffy. Just cool it. Woof on your own time. <laughs> <laughs> we hate being tattletales, <laughs> don't we, cold lips? Hmm? But it's our duty to tell it like it is. Now hear this. Bullseye and Trooper have been putting you nudniks on. Putting us on? I just knew it. Nobody can be that poor. Poor? Oh, just peek in there. The only fever you'll see is gambling fever. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're, you're, you're all just in time for the, uh, ceremony. Oh, weep, oh, weep, weep. Ceremony? Don't tell me that Colonel Flake is... Ah, oh, well, they, they say it was an acute case of no beanie beanie. Oh, oh, weep, weep. No beanie beanie. Oh, oh, it was his way of saving. So we'd have more. What a grand and glorious guy. Double. I demand that we vote more money for this post. Uh, hey, hey, hey there, hey, hey, there goes the colonel, stop! Hey, somebody grab it, huh? Well, I guess that's just like they say, folk. Old soldiers never die. They simply look that way. Uh, 
Now, there's nothing like a picnic, huh, Trooper? <laughs> yeah. When I was a little puppy, I used to go on a lot of picnics. But hamburgers used to taste better back then. Well, <laughs> hey, no wonder uh, uh, you, you just ate my earmuffs. Hmm? Hey, hey, hey! The spot's already taken. Oh, you're yelling. Please don't yell. I didn't mean it. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, uh, you just ruined our picnic, you big, uh, uh moose. Ooh. Who oh, I never do anything right. <laughs> Everybody hates me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's nonsense. <laughs> Nobody hates you. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. <laughs> All the other mooses make fun of me. <laughs> and they call me names. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just an ugly mooseling. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 that's nonsense. That's, uh, that's scuttlebutt. I mean, uh, stand up so we can have a look at you, huh? <laughs> I can't even stand up. <laughs> I sprained my ankle. <laughs> hmm, hmm. Hey, you're right. It's all swollen, hey. You know, Bullseye, you know, we just can't leave him out here in the wilderness with a sprained ankle. Well, uh, gee, guys, that's really swell of you. <laughs> uh, maybe if you uh, carried me, you carried me. Uh... Uh, uh, well, Moose, uh, <laughs> now that you're back on your feet again, I, uh, I guess you'll be able to uh, find your way home, mm hmm Gee, thanks, guys. How could I ever repay you? Say, I, I know, maybe I could stay a while and I could help you out with the cooking and the cleaning and the... Um, e uh, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> uh, that's, uh, ooh, uh, quite all right. Uh, you really don't have to pay us back, you know, hmm? But, but, but it's no trouble at all. Look, I, I even make a great TV antenna. <laughs> and those rotten agents say it's hard to break into television. The least I can do is stay and cook dinner for you. <laughs> I've got a great recipe for blubber stew. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, Moose, uh, that stew uh, looks pretty good, huh? Mmm, hmm? oh, tastes good, too. But the stew is in the oven right now. I'm washing out your socks. <laughs> oh, uh, holy gee, uh, <laughs> a combination of washer-dryer, wow. Now, here is General Upheaval has just arrived for a surprise inspection. Well, Flake, so far, everything up here seems to be running just as smooth as ice. You're right, sir. Now, have you completed your inspection of the camp? I have checked everything but Bullseye and Trooper Joe's quarters. Uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. <clears throat> Bullseye and Trooper Joe. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, good morning, General. Uh, uh, come right in, huh, please? Hmm? Hmm? Mm, very neat. Very neat indeed. <laughs> Who is this? I don't recall seeing him before. Oh, uh, this is our new recruit, sir. Private Moose. Uh, yeah, uh, Private Moose sort of keeps things uh, in order around here, you know? <laughs> Good job, Moose. You keep an apple, boy. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. I try to do my best. <laughs> Say, this jacket is a little snug. I could let it out of the back if you like. Uh, oh, and look up there. There's a little hole. I'm very good at bending uniforms. Hey, oh, and listen. Why don't you sit down? I'll shine your boots. Uh, and, and you could use a haircut, too. I'll get some scissors. I'll get some scissors. <laughs> Uh, uh, see, Moose is uh, very handy to have around, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does he really do all those things? Oh, oh, double wow, sir. I mean, uh, you wouldn't believe what he's uh, done to this place. Yes, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> no, you, here, sir. Uh, first, you've got to try my blubber stool. It's delicious. Uh, <laughs> 
Same. Yum, yum. This is good. Now, what did you say your name was, Private? Uh, pri uh, Private Moose, sir. <laughs> Here, let me shine your stick. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, 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 don't worry about that, sir. You see, I'm, I'm very good at repairing sleeves. Uh, uh, Moose, how would you like a job back at headquarters as my personal aide? Uh, what do you say to that, hmm? Sir, uh, I am your new aide. <laughs> Exactly what the old Moosey is saying right now. Uh, yeah, uh, don't, don't worry. worry. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very good, good at repairing, repairing helicopters. helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it must be spring. Uh, uh, well, uh, um, <laughs> I mean, uh, how can you tell, Trooper, huh? Hmm? Well, I just saw my first penguin. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, sir, but Colonel Flake wishes to send an upsy daisy message and tell you that general upheaval is coming and he'll be in the mess hall at exactly 0800. Uh, do you want to uh, translate that into uh, regular time sonar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's six seconds from now. Ah, uh, well, gee, I, I uh, could have slept an extra two seconds, huh? <laughs> hmm. Do you call yourselves dogs? Why, look at you. You're nothing but a bunch of fat pussycats. And when Colonel Flake and I return from our inspection, I want this unit 300 pounds lighter, or you'll all go to Upper Sibonia. Uh, losing uh, 300 pounds is easy. All we have to do is transfer Hilda. <laughs> and no transferring Hilda, Major Sideburns, I am leaving you in charge. Yes, sir, General Upheaval. There'll be no chocolate mess while they're in my hands. <laughs> Thirteen pounds, four ounces. Check. Three hundred and one pounds. <laughs> I don't understand it, cold lips. We took away their chocolate bars two days ago, and they're heavier now than before. <laughs> Maybe they need more exercise. <laughs> yes, exercise. I'm glad I thought of that. Well, I mean, I've heard of uh, ski lifts, and uh, but... Uh... This one's a real drag, you know? Huh? Huh? Okay, now let's do some figure eights. Mush, you mushers. Mm -hmm. Sir, are you sure Major Sideburns doesn't know about these chocolate bars? Uh, uh, well, sure, I'm sure, but I uh, think he's getting suspicious, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, somehow we gotta throw him off the trail. Oh, well, uh, I'm, uh, I'd rather throw him off the cliff. Yeah, me too, but they don't allow violence in these cartoons. Wow. Maybe we could fix his scale so we all weigh lighter. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a gas. Uh, oh, gee, a gas. Hey, Sonar, that's it. Uh, <laughs> you know the stuff we fill the weather balloons with? <laughs> well, um... Okay, you candy hounds. Time to weigh in again. <laughs> and just look at yourselves. You are fatter than ever. <laughs> I don't get it. They've lost a thousand pounds in one day. The entire unit only weighs seven ounces. Hank, how stupid can you get? That depends. How much time do I have? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> There is something phony going on here. And if you don't figure it out before General Upheaval gets back, we'll both be going to Upper Sabunia. You're right. I've got to show them who's boss. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, I caught you sillies red-handed. 
Uh, uh, I mean, uh, what are you talking about, huh? Hmm? You're all standing around a stove, and the stove isn't even warm. That means only one thing. You are using this stove to hide your chocolate. On second thought, you wouldn't think I was that stupid. Carry on. Did you find that chocolate, Hank? No. All they had in there was a new brown stove. A brown stove? Yes, with a door that... Ah, it melted in my hand and not in my mouth. Are you sure this is a chocolate stove, Hanky? Positive, cold lips. Try a piece. Mmm! Mmm! Well, it sort of tastes like chocolate, but I'm not sure. You'd better give me another piece. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Men, uh, and uh, whatever you are, I want to commend you for the way you've shaped up. You can go back to eating anything you like. Say, <clears throat> whatever happened to Major Sideburns? Wasn't he supposed to be here too? Hmm? Uh, begging the uh, general's pardon, but I don't think he got the message. So, this is what happens when I leave you in charge. You two look like you ate everything, including the kitchen sink. It wasn't the sink. It was the stove. Well, don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> because... Where you're going, they don't have stoves. In fact, in Upper Sabunia, they don't even have beds. Flight Zero, now leaving for Upper Sabonia. Well, that's the biggest mob of two people I've ever seen walk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> and when you send two kids up in a crate like that, <laughs> it makes you feel sorry for the crate. <laughs> mm. General upheaval. I am going on vacation, and I want Bullseye and Trooper to take care of Major Minor while I'm gone. Ah, uh, who is uh, Major Minor, sir? My pet Minor Bird. And I'd better not find one feather out of place when I return. Ah, uh, don't worry, sir. We're very safety conscious here at Mush. <laughs> Uh, uh, you mean we have to babysit uh, the uh, general's uh, dumb bird, huh? You better watch out who you call a dumb, you mangy butt. I've got to let you fellas in on a little secret. The general wants a full report on you two freakos when he returns. So you better be pretty nice to old mighty bird if you want to make some points with old Peavy. Oh, this is our chance to get rid of Bullseye and Trooper for good. Right on, Hanky. The general's going to be awful mad when he sees how those turkeys messed up his bird. <laughs> I want surface here. Bullseye, trooper, you better step it up. Coming, mine major, coming. <laughs> That's one. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, what are you, uh, writing, Major, huh? All the nasties you two weirdos do so I could show the general. <laughs> oh. We'll fix you up in no time, Major. Yes, any friend of the general's is a friend of ours. Hmm. <laughs> any friend of the general's is a friend of ours. <laughs> You're just jealous, jealous, jealous. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm loudsome. Oh, gosh, I miss my girlfriend. 
Uh, uh, hey, uh, we know a lot of girl birds that we could introduce you to. Oh, really? That would be just terrific. I just prefer exotic birds, you see, like myself. Oh, uh, well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's as good as done. Uh, come on, a troop. Cone lips, can you imitate an exotic bird? <laughs> Is the snow white? Let's crock it to those turkeys. Do you see them yet, Hanky? Mm, they're coming, they're coming. Get ready to sing, Sugar Paw. Well, it looks like we'll have to settle for a penguin, Bullseye. Uh, uh yeah, uh, you know, there's uh, definitely a shortage of exotic birds around here. Oh, my gosh, what's that? Uh, gee, it uh, sounded like an exotic bird. Uh, come on. Hey, it looks like this exotic bird has flown into too many cloud banks. Uh, uh yeah, but uh, she's uh, better than a penguin, huh? Hmm? Hey, de ho, de ha, de ho! It worked, it worked, look at that. It really, really worked. <laughs> oh. Sir, General, what do you want, sir? I was lonesome for my bird. I've decided to take him with me. Ah, uh, yes, sir, General. And you can rest assured that there is not one feather out of his place. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is a surprise for me. How exciting. Uh, well, uh, okay, uh, now uh, bring her in, the trooper. Hello. Look at her, she's gorgeous. <laughs> that's two. Uh, uh, that's two. Oh, boy, this should finish off Bullseye and Trooper for good. <laughs> Side birds! <laughs> Where is my bird, Sideburns? Oh, he's, uh, he's inside, sir. Hello! <laughs> oh, for God's sake, you big silly. Halt! <laughs> now that's funny. Ha, 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 ha. Looks like sideburns and coal lips were doing a pretty a good job of entertaining you, hey, Major Minor. Ha, 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 ha. They're terrific. Good. I'll recommend them as pet sitters to all of my general friends. Uh, uh, uh how's the uh, pet sitting uh, going, guys, huh? Mm hmm It's all Hanky's fault. What are you complaining about? I'm the one watching General Pompadour's Oh, please! Oh, oh, Colonel Flake, sir! Emergency! Oh, now, now, son, I got me a bite here. <laughs> hey, look at there. That's my lunch. I had wondered what had become to it. Oh, sir, General Upheaval just landed. He's on his way here. Well, for goodness sake, hold on to him for about 10 seconds, Sonar. Sonar, you called the line. Sonar. <laughs> At ease, Flake. Flake, I'm here to do you a good turn. Oh, please, sir, no more chance. I want one of your soldiers to represent this base in the Snow Olympics. Why, it's a great honor, and it'll take a great dog to fill my bill. They're talking about you, Hanky. <laughs> I'll expect your athlete at the Snow Olympic training camp in one week. <laughs> Nice going, Major. You're some athlete. 
Maybe this is our man, eh, Flake? Suntan lotion, uh-huh. There's swimming trunks, uh-huh. Uh, uh band-aids, uh, uh, iodine, and, uh, splints, uh -huh. Well, you are just jealous, jealous, jealous because I'm getting a vacation from the cold, steak three times a day, and, uh -huh, the company of gorgeous lady athletes. Uh -huh. Why don't you turkeys admit Major Sideburns is a better athlete? Oh, for sure. Anything Hank can do, Bullseye can do better. We accept your challenge, and the winner goes to the Snow Olympics. Right, Sugar Power? <laughs> Ooh, sirs, the pole vault will start at 10 feet. Excuse me, but uh, my hands froze to the pole, uh huh? Well, you better get ready to fly, old buddy. Uh-oh, and double uh-oh. Uh, next time, I'll uh, I'll take a compass. Oh. oh, I'll never make that. Look at it. It's too high. It's too high. It is too high. So now, excuse me, but would you kindly read me what the rule book about the height. Mm -hmm. The crossbar shall start at a height of 10 feet from the ground. Well, isn't that interesting? And how deep is the snow sonar? Mm -hmm. Nine feet. Oh, well, then the ground is nine feet down. Lower the crossbar. Hold on now. That's a foul. Dirty pole vaulting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sirs, but she's right. It says 10 feet from the ground. I'm ready. Uh, well, wait a minute. Where is my pole? Uh, 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 one pole coming up. Uh, 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 uh your pole. Uh... Uh, sirs, the next event is the broad jump. On your marks, get set, go. Uh, 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 you didn't know my grandfather was a flea, did you? <laughs> you think you are so good. Anybody can beat that measly jump. Anybody can beat that measly jump. Anybody. Go, Hanky, go! <laughs> did I win? Did I win? Did I win? It was a tie, sirs! Uh, uh, funny, it uh, felt more like a, a sack of bricks. Uh -huh. A tie? You said it was a tie. That's what you said it was, a tie. Well, it can't be a tie. I beat him, I beat him, I beat him. <laughs> Uh, uh, Hank, uh, you win, Hank. Uh, no way I can beat that jump. <laughs> go, Hanky, go! Well, that was a nice shot there, Hank. They have been playing for three hours, and the score is still tied. And now, it's starting in the snow. <laughs> Well, uh, you win, Hank. Uh-huh. I won, I won, I won. <laughs> Congratulations, Major. I salute you. Now, let's head for the training camp. Oh, thank heaven. Away from the cold. Just steaks three times a day. And lo lovely lady athletes. Oh. Heck no! The camp for the Arctic Snow Olympics is colder than this. Uh, you'll train 15 hours a day. You'll live on bone meal and vitamins. Invigorating, eh? Well, I won't go. I won't go. I won't go. Forward. Roll. Uh, relax, Hank. You're gonna have a ball. <laughs> Up two, three, four. Up two, three, four. My goodness, what a boring place this is. Why don't nothing ever exciting happen here, huh? <gasps> Lieutenant Kitchen Pasto reporting for duty. <laughs> I'm your new organization.
information officer. Uh, I've never been so uh, disorganized in all my life. Huh. Oh, look at you, darling. Oh, so sweet. I've only been here one day, and already I feel at home. That woman is disgusting, but she got that I don't got. Hmm. Should I go down the list alphabetically? Hmm. Silly boy. Well, he's the only kid in Hilda. He's not interested in such shallow beauty. Are oh, you, dear? Well, of course not, my darling. Absolutely, positively no. Next nine. Would someone please, oh, please pass the salt? Why, thank you, Major Sideburns. <laughs> Don't worry, cold lips. We will get ourselves in shape and show that Gigi girl what the real beauty is. You stare at Hilda, honey. Exercise is the first step to beauty. Oh, the only problem is I keep getting seasick. So long, chubbiness. Hello, prettiness. Whoop. That's what I call shedding pounds. Uh, um, uh, a gidget, uh, my uh, delicate uh, snowflake, hmm? Oh, boss, I, I just love snow. It's so, so, what shall I say, white. Boss, I, let's go swimming. <sighs> Uh, 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 swimming? Uh, well, uh, don't be silly, Gidget. The only water around here is uh, frozen. <laughs> I want to go swimming. Oh. Why didn't you tell me the water was so cold, you clod? Ah, uh, gee, uh, but I, uh, you know, I didn't... Uh, well, I... <laughs> These new eyelashes are sure going to attract a lot of attention around here. What do you think, Hilda? They're lovely. What do you think of my new hairdo? Out of sight, Hilda. It goes especially good with my new shoes. They're just as pretty as Gidget is. Even prettier by gum. You said it, honey. Let's go show the boys. Woo! Just love the snow. It's so, oh, so white. Oh. Mm, uh, that's uh, simply beautiful. Did, did, did you uh, m m make that that up your your yourself? Uh -huh. oh, Hanky, guess what I'm in the mood for? Uh -huh. uh, what? Oh, come, quiet. I suddenly. Oh, I suddenly crave a kumquat. It's a, a rare tropical fruit. Won't you get one for me, please? Why, uh, of course, uh, my little, my little sugar paw. I'll be right back, darling. <laughs> You're so long. Here you are, sugar paw. A fresh kumquat. <laughs> Why, it's bruised. <gasps> I want a kumquat. I want a kumquat. But sugar paw. You are. Oh. And hut. 
You mushers, you ought to be ashamed leaving your sweet, delicate little gadget right out there in the cold. But, General, you see, sir... Never mind. I'm taking Officer Barstow back to headquarters with me where she'll be treated like a lady. General, I just love the snow. It's so, so white. Uh, white? Exactly. Well, where we're going, there's no snow. There's only smog. Oh, I love smog. It's so brown. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,